Hey, gals and guys, it's Chris Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com, and I just got back from, from a walkabout for a couple hours. I went out and tried out my new cameras, which I did a separate um, video on opening those up, and I put in one of my SD cards, and um, it's giving me a message that there, there's nothing in the folder, and let me put the card in here so we can look at it. And as you can see, the folder is empty. Now, if I go to this PC, and I can already see, right, there's something in there. I'm going to right click, I'm going to hit properties, and then you can see there's 773 megabytes uh, taken off of that card. Now, I cleaned off my other card just to compare, and bear with me because people might be having different problems than you might be having because there's different solutions depending on the issue that you're having. So let me put in the other card. And as you see, right, I cleared it off. There was video on there before I cleared it all off. So if I go to properties on this one, you've, I've only got 448 kilobytes taken off that drive. So clearly I have 700 and whatever I said megabytes on that other drive. So I got to find out where the hell that is. So let me take off the good card that I cleared out and get that out of the equation. I'm going to put back in the first card that has 700 and whatever I said there megabytes on it and let that come back up as soon as it wants to come back up that's right there i just would have probably just have to refresh there we go okay so the first thing you can do is go into the folder and check what you're looking for is just to, to have this checked hidden items so if it's unchecked you're not going to see, obviously, you're not going to see some items because some possibly might be hidden. So this is a first step. So um, see, this is Windows 11. It might be different for you, um, but it's going to be up at the top. So I'm just going to go show and I'm going to make sure that's checked. OK, nothing's there. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is go back to here. I'm going to right or right click. That's right. <laughs> right click. I'm going to go to properties. So you go to properties. And then what you can go do here is tools and check and you can try to repair it and see what happens that way. Um, so there's no deal there. So the next thing I did was there's three different programs that you can download. And this is the one I used. So this is the one for Windows. If you happen to have it, I would recommend. And then um, there's this program here, Clever Files or whatever. And this one's for pictures. I don't think that has anything to do with anything. But if you have pictures on your SD card, I'll give that a shot. But if you got Windows, let's do this. Let's download this. It's, yeah. Oh, no, we don't want this one. We want Recuva, not Recover it. We want Recuva. We want Recuva, baby. Recuva's free, baby. It's made by um, Microsoft. Recuva. Someone's trying to be sneaky. Make sure it's the real Recuva. I'll make sure I put the real. There it is, right here. The free, the free one. And then download this one. So that's a good lesson right there. Let's see here. Your value. Make sure where it's downloaded from, downloaded to. There it is right there. OK, so there it is right there. We'll double click. There's Recuva right there, the installer. There we go. That's what we want right here. That's what it's going to look like right there, baby. And we're going to install. That's what happens when I just do these off the cuff. Um, we're going to run it. We're going to go next. All right. So it's going to ask you, um, do you want to do all files? No, I just want to do the drive. So let me see. You want to do compressed email documents? Um, yeah, I want to do all files, but just not on the C drive. Here we go. This is where it asks you. Um, you can say, I'm not sure if you're not sure where it's sitting. Um, I do. So I'm going to be on the G drive, I do believe, is the drive that um, was pulled up for that SD card. So if you happen to know your drive for your SD card, go for it. 
Um, if you're not sure, just hit, I'm not sure. And what, what it will do is just scan everything, your computer and whatever's hooked up to it. So I'm going to go here, browse. I'm going to go to the G drive. That's my card. As you can see, SDHC, I'm going to hit okay. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to do a deep scan, deep, deep. We're going to go deep, deep, deep undercover. We're going to do deep, deep, deep scan like Eddie Murphy from Beverly Hills Cop 2. I'm really old, guys and gals. All right, this is going to take a bit. And uh, once it's done scanning, we'll come back and we'll see uh, what files we have. See, so already it's have to found. go deep undercover. I'm undercover deep now. This is deep, but I'm going deeper. I don't want no more money nothing, but I'm going deep, 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 deep undercover. So you sign that for me, and I'm going so deep, sir, you not even know where I, people are going to try to pay. All right, gals and guys, uh, as you can see, it's almost done. We only have a minute left. I've jumped on early to the fact that I want to make you, uh, I want you to be sure when you look for the hidden files, you're in the SD card and you're not in your C drive. You, you want to view the, the files in your um, SD card. So like I said before, and we'll let that finish up. So like I said before, make sure you're here in the drive that you want to see the files. So you want to see them here. So you want to get into the drive itself and then go to view. And this is Windows 11 and there. Make sure you're in the card and not the C drive. I, I wanted to, obviously, I wanted to make that a point. And we're counting down now. I feel like um, Ryan Seacrest or Dick Clark at the New York Rock and Eve. Okay, so there we go. So it's found these files, and hopefully these are all the files um, that I took this afternoon because I don't want feel like going back and reshooting what I shot. Reshooting what I shot. And I think I'm just going to put them on my... Oh, we hit recover. Okay, let's hit recover. And I'm just going to put them... Where do I want to put them? Um, I'm going to put them on my D drive, actually. I'm going to put them in down, uh, downloads. I'm just going to put them on my main D drive. Okay. All right. Now this is going to take a couple minutes. So let's go to the D drive. And we shall see if anything is popping in. There we go right there. There's something right there. Let's see what that is, if anything. So nothing. It's possible that it's still doing it, whatever it needs to be doing. Um, there's three, four. There's, uh, oh, there's two. Wait a minute. These are, no, that's something else. All right, girls and guys, it seems like it's a separate issue. Who knows what's going to be um, on that SD card, right? It could be a million things from a million devices. So hopefully um, at least we got you to recover whatever you needed to recover. And then from there, um, we'll see what happens with mine. I'll make another video if I need to on my on my particular situation. All right, gals and guys. Um, sorry, it was kind of a, a strange um, tutorial this time out just because I was doing it as I was doing it. I was doing it as I was doing it. So if you if that made any sense, please uh, subscribe, share, like, um, hit the bell for updates and let me know if this helped you at all. Because um, again, it was kind of an unusual, um, an unusual tutorial. All right. Peace out. I ain't gonna shit. Don't worry about a thing, though. I am on the job. Don't worry about a thing. I'm on the job. That's what I'm afraid of.